Today we're going to talk about the monetization program on YouTube. Then we're going to talk about the process. How do you apply? What are the steps that you need to go through? What are the requirements and how long does it take? Take you to a new channel that I'm starting and show you exactly where you have to go to get ready to apply. You want it. This is really nice. You can apply now, even though you don't have any subscribers, no hours, no views, nothing. That's, this is a brand new channel. Jump in here and I'll show you what you have to do. You're going to go to YouTube studio. When you click your little icon in the top right hand corner, go to YouTube studio and then scroll down here on the left and see right here where it says monetization. Go ahead and click that. Even though I'm not ready to, uh, to apply, I haven't met the requirements, I can say notify me when I'm eligible. So right now there's zero subscribers and zero watch hours. What do you need to be able to apply? One, you need 1,000 subscribers and you need 4,000 watch hours. Now, sometimes when you go in to check your hours, sometimes it pops up in minutes. So just know 4,000 times 60 is 240,000 minutes. So jot that down or just keep doing the math. But I noticed when I would go check, sometimes it would be, it would go back and forth. So I just had both figures written down. And that was my goal um, for the whole time that I was waiting to apply. That was my goal. Now there's one key thing that I want to point out here you have to maintain those thousand subscribers and those 4,000 hours every 12 months. So let's say you even get five or 10,000 subscribers. And after a couple years, you stop putting new videos out and probably what will happen is your videos will probably start to get outdated eventually. And they'll start getting less and less views. Um, even if you have good topics that people are searching, other people are making new videos and people tend to go to those newer videos. And when new videos come out, people are trying to rank on that first page and it's just going to keep pushing you down. So if you go under 4,000 hours in a year, you'll lose your monetization. So I just want to point that out. This is not something where you're going to create a thousand videos, put them on YouTube and walk away. Yes, you might keep making money after you stop, but eventually you might drop under 4,000 hours. And at that point you lose your monetization. Now you can see here, um, this screen here, this person has 548 subscribers and 61 watch hours right here. Notify me when I'm eligible. You want to hit that button. Notify me when I'm eligible because one day you might be getting really close and not paying attention. And the neat thing is YouTube will send you an email when you qualify. And that doesn't mean you're, you've applied. That just means you're ready to apply. So it's really important not to misunderstand that. I remember while I was waiting to get notified, I, every once in a while, YouTube would send me encouraging emails saying, you're doing great. You're getting more subscribers. You're getting more time. Keep working. It was really nice. But then one day I got the, the notice that said you're eligible. Well, I didn't know I had to go back and apply. So I probably sat for about three weeks and I thought, well, I wonder if I'm, if the review went through, I wonder if I got it. And I went back in and checked my monetization button and I hadn't applied. So I really want to stress that to you. You're only saying notify me when I'm eligible not when I am approved because you haven't applied yet. You can't apply until you hit those two requirements. I really want to stress that to you. Um, after that, they will send you an email when you're, when you're eligible to apply. And it says it right here. They will let you know. Now, once you're eligible, you might have a screen that looks like this. Hopefully you didn't wait until you had 4,000 subscribers and um, almost 5,000 hours. Um, as soon as you hit the 5,000 or the 4,000 hours, apply. You'll probably get your subscribers first. Most people do, but you might have that one video that goes viral. I mean, I've seen people do it. They've only made two or three videos and they just happen to hit a video that people love and they get thousands and hundreds of thousands of views and they get their watch time in before their subscribers. So. I would assume you'll probably get your subscribers first and then your watch hours. That's when you hit this button that says apply now. Once you hit that, you're going to see a screen pop up like this. And there's three different steps that you have to go through. The first one is you have to review all the terms. Make sure that you go in and check the terms 
of, from, from YouTube. Uh, understand what you're getting into because you're making a contract with them. I over to my account that is monetized and I went ahead in and I hit the YouTube studio monetization on this side. Now you can see how this looks different. In here, I can, they have all kinds of different um, things for me to look at, but the YouTube partners program, you wanna make sure you go in and look at the terms for the program. And you'll just see the highlighted um, links and it'll say, view these terms for AdSense, view these terms for Google, make sure you apply it. And a lot of it in a nutshell is you're promising YouTube that you're going to abide by their rules. They can shut you down. Usually they'll give you a warning if you're using a lot of foul language or if you're putting things on there that is against their rules, they're going to give you a warning and or shut you down right away. So make sure you understand what those are. If you're under 18, you have to have permission from a parent. So if you're under 18 and you apply for a YouTube channel, even if you get monetized and they find out, they can shut you down. So don't, don't waste all that work doing something that's not legal, if that makes sense. Sure, you might get away with it, but you don't want to take the chance of not getting away with it. Follow the rules and you have nothing to worry about. Now, number two, we'll go back to number two. You want to set up an AdSense account. This is where your money comes from and everything will be laid out for you. And it'll just have little links there for you. Basically, you're telling Google that when you get your money from YouTube, it, where do you want them to send it? So it could be to a PayPal account, it could be to a checking account or a savings account or wherever you want it to go. You have to have that set up. And then number three, you're waiting for the review and they'll let you know. Now they let they tell you it could take up to three months to get reviewed. So just be patient, let them do their thing. And for me, the review, after I waited three weeks, the review was only like two weeks um, from the time that I applied. So it went pretty fast. I didn't have any problems, it went right through and it was probably the most exciting day um, of my life on YouTube. I'm gonna say maybe the second. There's a close and I'll tell you, <laughs> I'll tell you what the other one is later. All right. So when I finally hit 10 subscribers, right? Oh, those first few take forever. I did not want to go to my family and ask them to subscribe. I did it raw um, on my own. And I remember when I hit two digits, I was ecstatic. So both of them are pretty comparable because it took, a, took, took me a while. One of the things people ask is how long does this take? For me, it took a year. I have asked other people and on an average, it seems like it takes some people anywhere from six months to a year. Some people I've heard take two years. It really, really depends on what your niche is and it depends on how many videos you're making, the quality, and if it's something people are searching for. When you start out as a new channel, I want you to pick your niche and I want you to be um, talking about something that you're passionate about, but really pay attention and do the research and find questions people are asking about your niche. Because if you're just sharing things for the sake of being passionate about it and sharing, it might not be something people are asking about. Let's use an example of animals, puppies. People love dogs, right? Maybe you are really, really into um, homemade treats for your dogs. And I'm just guessing this off the top of my head. And you keep sharing recipes that you make, different biscuits and different things like that, and you're not getting a lot of views. Maybe that's not something about dogs that people are interested in. Maybe they're more interested in about how to train their dog or how to breed dogs or things like that. So there's so many different pockets that you can hit or degrees, if you want to call it that, or branches off the tree. Go in and find out what people are asking and then really focus on that because in the beginning when you're new and you want to grow, you, you're going to be found by people searching and you're answering their questions. So in the beginning, that's how it starts. Once you've been around for a while, you probably could just put a video up with your face on it and no, no um, title and people will watch it because if you're sitting there with 400 or 500,000 subscribers, they're going to watch you whether you know because they've been watching you and they love your content so do you see the difference so that's how you are found and that's how you start to grow those subscribers now how much money do you make that's another good question now i did make a video about this you're looking at rpm and cpm and you're like what i'm going to say it in layman's term so i'm going to explain it to you right now real quick and i'll also give you the video if you want to dig in deeper but i think it's really important to understand this i did not in the beginning and when i started looking at it i was like ah oh. so let's go look at one of my videos this is a video i put out just one week ago and i'm showing this to you 46 views i am not getting thousands and thousands and thousands of view yet i am still a small channel i have I think right now I'm at 2,700 
um, subscribers. I haven't even hit 3,000. I get an average, you know, this has been a week, 46 views. I might hit 70. I might hit 100. It's not getting thousands. But I want you to see this video made $6.28 in a week. Now multiply that by 100. What if there were 100 or 200 videos out there that just got 46 views and they each made six bucks? So do you see it's the quantity um, that adds up on, on, the, on the money. Now, how, how does YouTube determine? I'm going to go over here to revenue. This is a video about solo ads, okay? How to um, get sales um, and it's saying don't make a mistake, you know, using solo ads, blah, blah, blah. To advertise in this niche, it's $160.80 per thousand impressions, okay? Over here, that I get 55% of that amount. So for a thousand views, I get $136.61 and the, the ad person pays $160. We're just around it, $160. So that's called the CPM, the cost that the advertiser paid. And over here, the RPM is my revenue. I like to also said what I reap. This is what I reap from their work. And look at this, from 46 views, I made $6. Now, not all costs or CPMs are that high. So this is something that you want to pay attention to. If you notice in your niche that this number is always low, let's say you're doing something, I don't know, I don't do gardening, um, I don't do art, guitars, I, I don't know, I've never looked at this uh, CPMs on that, but it might not be something where the ad fees are as high. Um, and that might be why. Um, somebody told me a couple weeks ago they had 30,000 sub subscribers and was only making a hundred dollars a month and i was like wow so that made me dig in too maybe you know in the gardening industry or homeowner industry there's not a lot of revenue uh, or because the cost for the ads is not that high so look at this so if you if you're getting a lot of views and you're noticing you're not making a lot of money this is why there is no set amount for how much money you make because I kept looking that up and I kept hearing, oh, you make about $7 every thousand views. Well, that's not true. I just made almost $7 with 46 views. It depends on what the ad is and what they're paying. And it's, then you get 55% of that. I think it's a good deal. Remember, you are going to be on here for free right now. If you're probably watching this, you probably haven't been monetized because otherwise you already know how you're going to work for free at first and i think it's a good i i think it's a great rule that youtube has that you have to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours because it shows youtube who's serious and who's not we all want to make money quick but it's not going to happen there ain't no free lunch you got to work for it and youtube wants to see what kind of channel you have how consistent you are and are you serious about it so to get that kind of watch time and those subscribers you've got to put some work into it and you've got to prove it to them. So there you go. That's how you get monetized. Don't forget to hit that little button that I showed you earlier. We're going to go back here. It says on the left-hand side, um, how to get monetized, that monetization button. So don't forget to hit that right now and then hit the button that says notify me when I'm monetized. Okay. You want to be notified, so make sure you hit that. And remember, you're not applying. You're just going to get notified when you hit that. Good luck to you. I hope you get there really fast, but don't be discouraged if it takes you a year. Keep looking at your, um, at your um, videos, your watch time, your subs, and if it's growing, don't be discouraged. Everybody has a different journey. And just because your journey might take longer, doesn't mean in the end it's not going to be more profitable so just remember that too just because somebody gets there fast doesn't mean they're going to stay there you just do take your time that you need and get there at your pace and don't give up all right hope this was helpful i'll see you on the next video